smoke hold as Nigel arrives and makes what's called a derry turn over to the sea. Nigel learned to fly in 1985 at Ipswich Airport. In addition to his PPL, private pilot's license, Nigel is a flying instructor and examiner. He also has an IFC, an Instrument Meteorological Conditions Rating, which allows him to fly oh, in fly in poor weather conditions, in cloud and instrument approaches into suitably equipped airfields. Mom! He also holds a night rating, and as if that isn't enough, Nigel is a civilian aviation authority flight test pilot. He does 3,100 hours on a variety of aircraft, including Tiger Moths, various Cessna, Piper aircraft, and even a Spitfire T9, Nigel is a true experienced pilot. <laughs> The F-52 set out the charm and style of the warbird, a fraction of the operating force. I can't bloody see the thing on my phone, man! Pulls the aircraft up, which is a small turn. Yo, that is sick! Which is 68 miles per hour. I can't see as soon as it adds up to the storm cloud. The Yak 52 itself is stretched to plus 7, that's equivalent to 7 times your body weight pressing down on 2, or minus 5G. Some of the manoeuvres that Nigel will be pulling today are quite uncomfortable. Stay, minus 5G. And you get the sensation that you're losing your time. That makes you lose everything. Originally used for initial training to introduce complex maneuvers and student pilots. They did better ratios than they're doing now. Up until the year 2000, there were 1,800 of introduced, with 150 rolling off the production line annually. Oh yeah, Nick, your cards at home. I can only see it by the smoke. So Nigel may demonstrate some impressive roll rate as his barrel rolls the end along the crowd line. Showing off nicely the delivery of the Bobby King, who are once again pleased to sponsor Nigel from the end. I haven't seen that little Spitfire flying over. This is only the second one we've seen. I think they're supposed to be doing parachute drops. Only the control surfaces of the bubbles and ailerons are fabric covered to keep weight on the control forces to the minimum. And I'm moving when I go on a fair ride, just how I think he feels. up into the clouds, my phone's like, I can't see him. Lola was at a prom yesterday.
Oh, that is sick. Enjoyed it. particularly uncomfortable top of the engine turned off, man. <laughs> and that is coming down. Now see the semi-retractable undercarriage. This actually allows the aircraft to be landed wheels up with minimal damage. That's it. And this is another one of those design features that were often built in to uh, the former Warsaw Pact aircraft. He's going to have an injector seat. Of course he would. I wouldn't, man. I'll end up passing out. It's nine cylinder radial engine, which is started by compressed air, produces 360 horsepower. Was actually built in 1987. And he's an ex-military trainer aircraft. He's must seen active service with the Russian Air Force. Look at that man, he's been flying for six minutes. With full aromatic power, Nigel would be using 100 litres of fuel an hour. But only 50 litres are used in the economy crews. So another good photo opportunity is Nigel. Brings the Yank to the Pride Centre. <laughs> Yo, that is sick. And the aircraft on the propeller before dropping down. <laughs> well, I'm bothered about is a splash. Yeah, take your phone out first, leave that on the wall. We'll give it mum. <laughs> Displaying over the sea is challenging as it can be difficult to judge height and horizon. So Nigel's always keeping a close eye out uh, for visual points of reference to see where he is along the display. Look at that, upside down. So demonstrating another feature of the Yak, its inverted fuel and oil system, Nigel brings the aircraft left to right in a slow roll, or an inverted pass. What? Yeah. He has had to actually change the display routine slightly because the, the cloud seems to be a little bit lower. So certainly some of his high manoeuvres he has uh, kept slightly lower down and not to be running out the same. What? What? Is it going to be what? What did she say? No, Ruby!